So now the question of African Rural University for Women. As I told you when we came here, one, we had to demonstrate the methodology, how it works, and actually in the communities, self-help, self-organization, self-reliance, where the clarion calls, it happened. But we could not start a university because, as I said, the dropout rate was very, very, very high. And the government had not put in place the law to allow us to do that. So when eventually the government opened space, the next thing is, what is that education for development that do we want to put in place? Then the next thing was, given the short space of time that we are running while others walk, who are the best agent? Now, with us as a, a women's university, is not a response to affirmative action, no. We said, in life, who are the best teachers at the household level? Who are the best managers at the house level, household level? Who are the best multitasked people at the household level? Who are the peacekeepers? Who are negotiators? And we found men are one of them. We are more mechanistic in life. But women are resilient, they are patient, they resolve issues, they guide the children. And we said if we can have women in control of the development process, we would get results faster. That's number one. Number two, we said if women have been doing all this work and they get capacity,